the tenth letter in the Thai alphabet is Sho Shang. Sho Shang. Cho is the first part, which is the sound it makes as an initial consonant or starting sound. Cho has the first tone. It has the same pronunciation with Cho in Cho Ching, which is the ninth letter of the Thai alphabet. But they both have different tones. It does not have an equivalent sound in English, but it is very close to the English sh sound, as in shake. You can go back and see the manners in which Cha Ting and Cha Chang are pronounced in the previous video. Chang is the second part, which is the vocabulary or word associated with the letter. Chang has the fourth tone, and the word Chang means elephant. Did you know that elephant is the national animal and symbol of Thailand? For over a thousand years, elephants have played a substantial role throughout the Thai history. They've been involved in manual labor such as logging, participated in countless wars, especially in elephant duel, becoming associated with royal iconography such as the royal regalia of the monarchs of Thailand, as well as tourism, which is by far the most well-known aspect of Thai elephants. Also, if you're visiting Thailand and would like to enjoy the experience with elephants, try to visit rescue and rehabilitation center or elephant sanctuaries that treated elephants humanely. Okay, did you also know about white elephant? It is actually not white, but rather dusky, pinkish gray in color. We have a long-held belief that these white elephants symbolize the well-being and prosperity of the country. The more they are, the greater power that country has. This has also led to many conflicts and wars between our neighboring countries in the past. But how important are white elephants? Well, white elephant was part of the first and second national flags of Siam from the 19th century to about 1917. Before we switch to the current tricolor flag. Another side note that I want to talk about is the term white elephant in English also has another meaning. It means an extravagant or impractical gift that cannot be easily disposed of. The term is said to come from the historic practice of the King of Siam giving rare albino elephants to courtiers who had displeased him so that they might be ruined financially by the animal's upkeep costs. So I guess these stories that I just told you proved how important elephants and white elephants are to the Thai culture. Now let's try to pronounce Cho Chang together. Cho Chang Cho Chang Cho Chang Okay, now it's time to write Cho Chang together. It is very similar to Kho Kai, the second letter of the Thai alphabet, but with a tail at the end. So, you start from the circle, go all the way around, go down, then make an angle, go to the right, then go up, make a little dent to the left, and add a tail. That's it. Okay, let's try that again. You start from the circle, go all the way around, go down, make an angle, go to the right, up, make a little dent to the left, add a tail. And that's how to write Cho Chang in Thai. And that is it for Cho Chang. Next, we have Sao Sao.